Hey, what's going on everybody? Here I am at the Barnes & Noble and I wanted to show you this book, When God Winks at You. The first time I ever saw this book was when I was in a really tough spot and I had some kind of miracle happen in my life and then I saw that book and um, it was really coincidental, really magical. And so even if things might be difficult right now, just think about the possibility of things changing for the better. The possibility is what's more important than what's actually happened to you in the past. And um, if you let go of the past, then the moment, this moment is new, and you can take this moment of new energy with you into the future. Unless, of course, you wanna bring the negativity with you from the past, bring it forward, then you can have more of that. Totally up to you, so. <laughs> and I'm telling you that because sometimes people get hypnotized by the way that they talk to themselves. I was on a call earlier today with somebody that I've been helping and they they said a word like four times. I counted it in my head while we were discussing these things and it was pretty enlightening when I sh shared back what she was repeating to herself. The reason I'm saying that to you now is because how you talk to yourself is really, really important. And the reason why is because your body is listening to the vibration of your voice. It goes into your cells of your body and you're an energetic being and uh, it's scientifically proven, so I know it sounds kind of woo-woo or airy-fairy, but I'm telling you that because if you remember the power of the words that you use, it can help you forge your life that you want. But it can't just be the words coming out of your mouth. It's got to be mental and emotional with your feelings. Knowing those two different channels, your mind and then your heart, and then your voice and the different tonality that you have with your voice, you can use the power of self-talk to influence yourself and once you've influenced yourself to a, such a degree then you can start using your voice especially if you're a salesperson you can use your voice and tonality to influence others and to help others do what they want to do right and so if you're in sales like I work with a lot of real estate people and so the objective is to get a client into a house that they want for themselves so if you know it's good for them then you you use these tools to help your clients get what they want and then in exchange for you providing value to them, you get paid for selling a house, very basic. You probably all really already know that, but I'm sharing that with you because uh, it's important to remember and um, these are some of the basic fundamental things that a lot of people forget about. So if you're having a bad day, think about what you're focusing on and change what you're focusing on. Like change the channel, like back in the 70s, if you imagine an old school TV where you're trying to click the different things, change the channel from something that's negative something that's disempowering and focus on something that would make you feel good and you'll see and feel that your life will start improving little by little, day by day, month after month, year after year. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.